It is my honor and privilege to present Christian Gardas, Ballet Victorian of the Class of 2009. <coughs> Good afternoon, everyone. If you think it's hot down down there, yeah, we're all sweating. Well, a wise man, one whom I admire very much, Forrest Gump, once said, "Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get." Now the dice is broken. Not one of us knows what the future has in store for us. We can't even predict what will happen a few seconds from now, except that we'll probably still be right here. Nevertheless, because our lives are so uncertain, it is our responsibility to make for ourselves the best life possible while living with love and compassion for others. My friends and I are about to begin a journey in our lives. Today we take the first step, and the steps that follow cannot be undone. On this journey, there will be struggles, trials, and obstacles that test our character. They may overcome us if we give in, or build perseverance if we take courage and press on. Doubt will be our most potent enemy, and along with it, apathy, working together to destroy all that we hope to achieve. Doubt is defined as a lack of confidence to be uncertain, and to consider something unlikely. It can further be described as fear of the unknown and the uncontrollable. There is a great deal of needless worry involved in this matter. It is a fact that the future is beyond our control, but we can control how we prepare for the future and the attitude in which we face it. This brings us to apathy, the other force working against us. Apathy is a lack of passion, interest, or concern. More accurately, the I don't care attitude. You see, when things get difficult and doubt begins to set in, there are two possible paths. We can press on with the promise that the hardship is only temporary, or we can adopt the motto of I don't care. The first path has a higher vantage point and sees the full picture, even though it may be a bit blurred around the edges. The second path has a more narrow and selfish perspective, and simply wants to avoid the burdens of life. So far, our burdens have been so heavy. From washing the dishes, and cleaning our rooms, to sitting through 42 minute classes, embrace yourselves. Agonizing over relentless hours of homework. And some of us haven't even mastered these yet. Now would probably be a good time for us to start caring. I try not to worry about what is to come. Don't get me wrong, I stress just as much as the next person, and maybe even more. But I know that there is hope. For me, for those of us on this stage, and for everyone. I find great security and encouragement in God's Word, the Holy Bible especially from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and the future. I know that God is watching over all of us and has a plan far greater than we could ever imagine. As the songwriter and poet Sibylla D. Martin wrote, Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely? and long for heaven and home. When Jesus is my portion, my constant friend is he. Let not your heart be troubled, his tender word I hear. And resting on his goodness, I lose my doubts and fears. Though by the path he leadeth, but one step I may see. Whenever I am tempted, whenever clouds arise, when psalms give place to sign, when hope within me dies. I draw the closer to him, from care he sets me free. I sing because I'm happy, I sing because I'm free. For his eye is on the sparrow, 
and I know He watches me. So, my dear friends, on this life's journey, know that wherever you go, be it near or far, and whatever you do, be it good or bad, God is always there for you, watching closely, and He will always love you. Thank you.